Hi my loves, welcome back to the Star Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I have for today is open the switch for him. The scripture comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 through 8. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immortality, that each of you should learn how to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the pagans, who do not know God and that in this matter no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister the Lord will punish all those who commit such sins as we told you and warned you before for God did not call us to be impure but to live a holy life therefore anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being but God the very God who gives you his Holy Spirit Ooh, okay God baby she looks away and, and and god decided to bring the boxing gloves today okay because i did not read the scripture when god sent me here god said open the switch i was not like i was not i was not expecting i like now at first i was thinking it was like cut the light on and open the door for me but god be literally like grandma said go outside and grab that switch okay <laughs> baby but get serious start. okay god said baby god sent me Okay, because I know it's going to be some people upset about this. But God sent me to tell you he does not want you going around and playing. Okay, God said he wants us to be pure. He wants us to be celibate. God does not want his children going around and sleeping around and just living an impure life. God says we are supposed to live in a way that is holy and honorable. We should be able to control our uh, lust, and we should be able to control our passion, which is very interesting to me because I just seen a few days ago a video, and I received this message about a week ago, okay? I'm going to say that too. And I seen a video a few days ago of someone condemning um, a woman for deciding she wasn't going to live with a man until after they were married or he had at least given her an engagement ring and in the comment section there was so many people saying oh that's so crazy and we live in a new age and you should be able to live with your spouse if you want to and i gotta try you out first i gotta make sure you're not crazy i gotta dot 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 and it's so, you know, it just, to me, it just felt so crazy to me. Not to say that I have never been in that position. Not to say that I'm just so perfect and I have never lived with somebody that I wasn't married to. I'm not going to say. I'm not, I'm not going to get on here and tell no lies, okay? But I will also add that the one time that I was actually married and living with my spouse, it did in fact feel completely different from um it, it it wasn't the same as living with a boyfriend it was completely and you know even the person that i got married to i i told y'all that before he was my best friend you know um like he I used to, before we decided to get married, like we would literally spend every day together. So it was just, I'm not going to say every single day up until that moment, but there was a point in time when we would spend every day together. There was a point in time when we literally saw each other so much. We, like we knew each other so well and we were away from each other before we finally decided to get married but at the same time it was still completely different um given the fact that we probably both grew in the time that we were away from each other but i'm just saying that to say that it's not the same and i just feel like it is so crazy to me how 
accepting the world is of sin. The world is so accepting of sin that people are being laughed at and mocked for wanting to wait until they're married to live with the person that they want to be with. And, you know, um, instead of throwing engagement parties, instead of throwing weddings, people have become accustomed to throwing these, um, the parties for, what is it called? And I have one too, so I'm not even, y'all know your girl's not on here throwing shade, but uh, gender reveal parties and baby showers. And it's just like, we're skipping a whole step and nobody is batting an eye. Nobody is, it, it's just like, we used to be in a position to where everybody was outraged if a man got a woman pregnant, but did not marry her. And now we are in a position where the world is outraged if a woman has the audacity to be celibate until she is married. If a woman has the audacity to decide she's not going to stay and live with a man until they are married and until she has commitment. And in reality, how is that? It's just like there is so much anger and hate and it's just toxicity being pushed on women. The woman has no, no, no security, no, no. And I, you know, I'm here to tell you because your girl, no. Okay. You, you give up your own security. You give up having your own space. You give up being good and being able to provide for yourself and being okay to go and live with somebody that has put forth no effort to give you any commitment. They have put forth no effort to give you any security, no stability. They, If they can't even get on one knee and propose to you and make you their wife, then how can you feel secure enough to live with them when at any point, any given point, any point in time, they can decide that they don't like you no more and put you out on the curb. And then you will have nowhere to go and nothing's it's too bad, it's too sad. And we live in a world where people are literally shunning women for thinking about, well, what about me? They're shunning women for thinking about, but how is this right? How is this fair? It's not fair. We are living in a world where so many men are acting as if it, they act like proposing to a woman and walking down the aisle is as bad as somebody like literally hurting them. And like somebody is, is pulling their tooth out. They act like somebody is trying to destroy them or somebody's trying to embarrass them. They act like they, it's just so bad and it's so embarrassing and they don't know what to do and it's so sad. It is ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. A man is more embarrassed about getting married to a woman than he is about taking care of his friend or you know just like are going to jail like some of these men would prefer to go to jail for life for something they didn't do for their friend something they friend did something they ain't even do they'll go to jail for life for that before they get married to a woman that is crazy about them that loves them and would never hurt them some of these men are so crazy I just don't, I, like my mind, I'm just utterly confused. How can you run away from somebody that loves you, that cares about you, that cherishes you, that will do anything for you to chase after somebody that would turn on you without batting their eyes? And God is saying he is seeking vengeance. He's seeking judgment upon people who are just out here living immoral, okay? People who are out here being sexually uh, immoral. Instead of controlling their body, instead of controlling their lust, instead of controlling their passion, they are going around taking advantage of others. Um, I've even watched videos of men talking about if a woman comes over for a date and she's not willing to sleep with them, they would put her out or they would try to pretend as though they're calling another woman to come over to make her change her mind. That is like, that is literally taking advantage of somebody. 
Like, like that's almost, it's like, it's, it's just like a jump, hop, and a skip away from literally abusing, uh, sexual abuse. I'm gonna just say, it really is. Because you already know she has told you no. She has already said you're not getting her consent. But, you know, you want to feel like a good person. So, instead of, um, going all the way, you're gonna try to figure out some way to manipulate this woman into doing something that she already said she didn't want to do. God said he is seeking judgment upon these people here. God said he is seeking judgment, he is seeking judgment, he is seeking judgment. I know it's gonna be a lot of a lot of angry folk. I know some people is gonna be upset with Star. I know some people is gonna be mad with me. It is what it is. Don't get upset with the messenger, okay? God said, God told me to tell you to go outside and get your switch. That's what God said. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.